Hello everyone, this is Daniel and Kelly from fitnessblender.com and today we're going to be going through a Pilates routine that heavily focuses on the legs. So we've included both your warm up and your cool down and the only thing you need for this routine is an optional exercise mat. We need to go ahead and get that warm up done, so we'll be right back to get that started. Alright everyone, we're going to go ahead and start into our warm up. It's a little bit of a yoga inspired one and we'll be doing each one of these positions for just about 30 seconds. You ready? Mm -hmm. All right, so our first one, first one is just gonna be a toe touch and reach, so feet just about shoulder width apart or narrower. You're gonna round those shoulders over forward, stretch down towards those toes. Go down as low as is comfortable, trying to keep those legs relatively straight, and then slowly back up, bring those arms up over top of your head. Stretch it straight up, deep breath in, and exhale. Slowly back down, roll those shoulders over, stretch down towards those toes. It's nice and slow back up. Stretch it up over your head. And kick one foot forward, other foot back. Bend that front knee, keep that rear leg straight. Stretch up over your head again, and down towards that front foot. Kind of go down to a little bit of a lunge, stretch to the front of that other, that rear leg. And then come back up. Nice full stretch to the top, keeping that front leg slightly bent. Back down, exhale as you go down. Inhale, you come back up. And switch sides. So same thing. Front leg bent, stretch up. Down on that foot, stretch down. Get that hip flexor to that rear leg. Back up. Stretch up and back, feel it through that torso. And back down, exhale down. Inhale, bring it back up. Go to a nice wide stance with those feet. So uh, three times shoulder width apart or so. Go straight down the middle. Lunge off to the left. Come back up to the center. Lunge off to the right. Back to the center. And just keep going back and forth. Nice slow fluid motions. Try to get down as low as is comfortable. If you want to get your breathing into it, it's going to be exhale on your way down, inhale on your way back up. Come up into a warrior. Mm -hmm. So warrior pose is next. Foot stance, uh, uh, front knee out. Bring those arms up. Try to get them as parallel as you can. She's <laughs> <laughs> just going to hold this static pose for the whole 30 seconds. So try to keep that lunge nice and steady. If you want to, kind of slowly move back and forth. Like Kelly's doing, that's perfectly fine. Otherwise, a nice static position. And same thing on the other side. Down and hold it. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep those lungs open. Almost done. Five seconds left. Right, now we're going into a walk down. So starting at just your toes. About a 45. I'm walking up. <laughs> <laughs> you run into it. Slowly walk it out. And then slowly walk back up. There's no push up, you're just doing a walk out. Just a nice full extension at the top. Right back down again, touch those toes and walk out. So you're those stretching your, the backs of your thighs and your back and your upper body all the way down. Alright, all right, go ahead and walk out one more time. We're going to go into a full push-up. If you want to, you can go off those knees. Just nice and slow, drop down, exhale as you drop. Inhale, slowly come back up. Or actually, sorry, that's reverse. So inhale as you slowly drop down. Exhale, back up. So you can do whichever kind of push-up you want. If you want to tuck those elbows close in for a tricep, get those elbows out nice and wide. So whichever one feels most comfortable to you. Bring those hands in about shoulder width, feet shoulder width or hip width. Come up into a downward dog. Scoop down through. Go to an up dog. And slowly back up. How you doing back there? Good. So you should be starting to feel nice and warm by now, starting to get a little bit more limber. Just have one more exercise to go. 
Right. So lay down flat on your stomach. Clasp your hands back behind your back and arch up and pull those arms back at the same time. Hold it for just a second. And nice and slow, let it relax back down. And again, exhale, stretch it up. Inhale, slowly back down. Last one, exhale. Freeze it for just a second. And let it relax. All right. Go grab a mat if you need one. We'll be back to start into the regular routine here in just a second. All right, so we're gonna move into our first series of Pilates moves. You need just your mat. We're gonna be lying flat on our backs for the first one. We're doing toe taps. So we're gonna be doing roughly 10 of these. You guys know how rep counting goes around here. So we're doing the easiest version first. So pull that belly button in, press that lower back to that mat. One leg at a time, nice and slow, bring up to that tabletop position. So knee right above that hip joint, 90 degree angle on that knee. Slowly back down, and then the other side, come up. Freeze for just a second, slowly back down. So inhale that leg up, exhale as it slowly goes away. Same thing on the other side. So we're starting out nice and slow. We're not going to get any breakthrough here. We're just going to go from one exercise to the next. So those legs and abdominal muscles should start burning like crazy here pretty soon. Do one more on each leg. Remember to keep those belly, that belly button pulled in nice and tight, those abs nice and tight. Last one on the other side. Drop it for just a second. We're going to start right back in with that left leg, but you're going to follow with your right. So left leg comes up and pause at tabletop, right leg comes up, pause. Left leg down, right leg down. So inhale that leg up. Exhale the opposite leg up. Inhale that left leg down. Exhale that right leg down. Just keep it going nice and slow. One repetition is that entire chain. Remember, check that belly button, pull it in nice and tight. Back flat against that mat. So make sure you're not cheating with your hands uh, pushing against the mat. And you can also make this harder by hovering your feet over the ground and not relaxing them completely. So just stopping just before you rest on the, on the floor. Yeah, that makes those abs shake. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're halfway through. Just keep them going, keep checking those abs. Just two more cycles to go. Check that breathing again. Inhale that leg up. Exhale the opposite leg. Inhale. Exhale. One more to go. Inhale up. Exhale the other leg up. Inhale down. Exhale down. As soon as that leg touches, bring it straight back up again. Pause at tabletop. That left leg falls this time. Right leg back down. Left leg back down. Pull that belly button in nice and tight, back flat against that mat, no rest, just keep right on going. So as you do these, especially the longer you go, the more you're going to want to start cheating a little bit on this. So. Watch your knee. Make sure that knee doesn't come in past that hip joint. If it does, it's actually going to allow those abdominal muscles to relax a little bit more so you actually get a break rather than actually continuing to challenge those abs. So uh, keep that leg out just a little bit further away from that hip joint than uh, over top of your stomach. One more. Oh, one more? Wow, I'm way off on count. What did you have? <laughs> I might be off too. Just... <laughs> we both don't know what's going on. <laughs> One more for good measure. Okay. <laughs> All right. And then relax. 
All right, we're moving on to the next one, which is going to be a double leg uh, uh, toe tap. So starting from that, uh, sorry, uh, level three toe tap. So you're starting from that uh, tabletop position. Hold it there nice and steady. Remember, keep those knees out just a little bit. Drop one leg at a time. Tap that toe. Right back up again. Freeze the tabletop. And the opposite leg goes down. Tap. And back up. So nice and slow. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Just keep it going. Keep those lungs open. Never hold your breath. All right, there's our halfway point. So if this gets too hard, you can always come back to an easier version. You can always just do whatever you need to to keep moving, essentially. Just try to keep moving the whole time. One more on each side, get a few more in there. And last one on that leg, freeze it up at tabletop again. If you need to, hug those knees into your chest for a little extra rest. Otherwise, freeze those legs right there at that tabletop position. Just hold it nice and steady. We're going to go into a double leg toe tap, so squeeze those knees together. Keep that lower back flat against that mat. Drop, out, drop those legs out only as far as you can control. If you start feeling that lower back lift up, then pause and bring it right back up again. Otherwise, try to get those legs all the way out so those toes touch the ground. Right back up again. Short pause at that tabletop. Just keep it going. So if you're new to Pilates or you don't have a lot of core strength yet or you have a bad back, just drop one foot at a time. You only want to do the harder version if your body can control it. Never try to force yourself through a range of motion if that back is especially lifting up off the ground. And it tries to the whole time. Yeah. I can feel myself <laughs> yeah. kind of rocking up off the mat. So do everything you can to focus on pulling that belly button down. You got a good burn going yet? Yeah. It's like shaking <laughs> everywhere. It looks so simple and then you start to do it in succession. It's just, yeah, it's There's humbling. last one. Bring it up and freeze it. Again, hug those knees into your chest if you need a little extra rest. Otherwise, keep them frozen at tabletop. You should be feeling it quite a bit through your quadricep, the front of that thigh, as well as those, those, those abdominal muscles. All right, so we're going to move on, focus on those legs just a little bit. So we're going to drop that heel down, keep those knees up right above that hip joint, and then extend that leg straight up above that hip joint, nice and slow back down. So the only thing that's moving is that uh, lower leg hinging from that knee. So extend it up, exhale. Inhale, slowly let it drop back down. Keep that knee right above that hip joint. Don't let it come in over top of your stomach or rock out away from your body. Halfway through, you can see my legs shaking like crazy. <laughs> Should have a good burn going by now. This is our last exercise and we get a little bit of a rest before we move on to our next group. I'll just keep it going. Nice and slow down. We've got two more to go. Whoo, that burns. Keep checking that lower back. Make sure the back is against the ground. Make sure your lungs are open. No holding your breath. Last one, full extension. Freeze it up. We're going to be doing a single leg drop or a double leg drop, depending on how strong you are. So keep those legs pinned together, drop them down both at the same time. If you want the harder version or do what Kelly's doing for the slightly easier version, pull it right back up. Pause, slowly back down. Right back up. Slowly down. So do two more of these. Keep that back on that mat. Last one. Slowly down. Hover. Go ahead and bring your leg back up. <laughs> and let it completely release. Slow let those legs drop back down to the ground. All right. I'm going to give you a short little break. We're going to move into uh, uh, the next portion. We're going to be laying flat on your stomach and we're going to work through that back a little bit. So go ahead and roll over onto your stomach. I'm going to give that, uh, those abs and those quadriceps a little bit of a rest. 
So our first one is going to be a nice slow swimmer. So arms and legs out, perfectly straight. You're going to very slowly start with your left hand and your right foot, squeeze them up, tight, tight squeeze, slowly let them drop back down and release. Same thing on the other side. So right hand, left foot, squeeze up, slowly back down. Keep your, uh, your nose facing down towards that mat each time. You don't want to actually arch your head up or look left or right. If you want to time your breathing with it, it's going to be exhale as you squeeze that arm and leg up. Inhale as they slowly drop back down to the mat. Do you know how many we've done? I think this is four. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry guys, keeping count of repetitions is always a weak spot. It's a good brain exercise. It is. But it does kind of make you look like a fool when you're doing it anyway. <laughs> yeah. Let's do one more in each arm. And let them both drop for just a second. So you can continue on with that same exact version if your back is pretty weak. If you're already starting to feel a pretty good burn on it, just go ahead and let everything drop. Uh, just, just keep that same exact progression just like you were just doing. Otherwise, if you want to make it a little bit harder, you're going to hover those hands and feet just a little bit off the ground. Do the same exact motion, same speed, but without ever letting those hands and feet touch. So slowly, left arm, right foot, or right foot, or left, <laughs> right arm, left foot, all staying back and forth. Keep those lungs open. Exhale on the way up, inhale on the way down. It's halfway. It's a good sign when both of us have the same number. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> that never happens. Two more. Keep them up there hovering if you can. Speed it up just a little bit. Same exact motion. Speed it up again. Get it going really nice and quick. So give up on that breathing. So you're going to be breathing in every two pulses, exhaling every two pulses. Let's keep it going a little bit longer. And let it drop nice and slow. Let it relax for just a second. Get that back nice and warm. Yeah, and the glutes. Yeah. All right, so next one is going to be a full back bow. So it's a similar motion to that swimmer, but this time you're doing those legs and arms simultaneously. So arms and legs out nice and straight. Get them nice and rigid. Face down towards that mat. Nice deep breath in. Exhale, pull both those hands and feet off the ground. Squeeze it up, slowly back down. Let it touch for the easier version. For the harder version, keep it hovering. So exhale, squeeze up. Inhale, back down. A little bit of a hover for the harder version. Exhale, right back up. Inhale, down. For the easier version, you can bring your hands in by your ears as well as rest on the ground in between repetitions. Yeah, because you with those arms out extended, you're probably feeling quite a bit in those shoulders. Just a few more through. How's that back feeling? Good. Two more. Slowly let it relax down. Let it release. All right. Next one, we're going to be doing a breaststroke. You're going to tuck those elbows to your sides. Again, you're going to slowly arch that back up just a little bit. If you want to make, the, make it harder, you can pull those legs up off the ground as well, hover those. Otherwise, you can let them stay touching on the ground. The main thing is, arch that back up just a little bit. You're going to exhale out with those hands straight in front. Inhale, draw them all the way back, tap those thighs, bend those elbows, and start again. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, 
Inhale, just keep it going. Again, arch those legs up off the ground for the harder version. You know what number we're at? That's <laughs> number seven. Okay, almost done. So the last one. Wow, oh, relax down nice and slow. All right. All right. <laughs> that back's probably getting nice and tired on you. We've got a few more exercises to go through, though. Our next one is going to be heel tap. So, again, you can tuck those elbows to your sides, or you can cross them over in front of your face. You want your face down. You're going to get those legs spread out just a little bit wider than hip width apart. You peel them up off the ground, tap those heels together twice, and stretch those legs really nice and far apart without letting them actually touch the ground. So. Go ahead and take a deep breath in, oh, peel those legs up. You already started. <laughs> ah, you gotta do extra. All right, bring those legs up, tap those heels twice, stretch them out, tap twice, stretch out. So it's gonna be exhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, exhale, inhale. Just keep it going. Try to get those legs up off the ground as high as you can, try not to let those thighs touch. It's going to be pretty much impossible, but try to go for that anyway. One more. And slowly let them down. We're going to do double leg lifts next. So you can choose whether or not you want to do these with your legs close or with those legs really nice and wide apart. It's going to get a little bit different part of that hip and that glute, depending on which, which one you do. So I'm going to do wide. Let's just go ahead and let it relax again. Pretty much exactly the same position as the heel taps, but with no uh, tap. So nice and slow, pull those legs up, squeeze it up nice and high, slowly let it drop. Harder version is don't let it touch, then pull it right back up again. Inhales, those legs drop. Exhales, they come up. Exhale, squeeze it up. Inhale, let them drop. That back starts getting tired on you. Go ahead and let those feet touch every single time. It's halfway. <laughs> Two more. I think I'm going faster than you. Last one for me, and let it relax. Right. All right, that is the first half of this routine. We're gonna give you a little extra break here, grab a drink of water, and we'll be right back to start into the more leg intensive portion. See you in just a second. All right, everybody, let's go ahead and get started with our second section here, which is going to be a little bit more leg intensive. So we're going to be starting off with a leg pull. So go ahead and lay flat on your back. We're doing a single first, so we're going to be bringing one leg up. The other leg's going to be hovering just off the ground. Grab behind your calf or behind your thigh, not behind your knee. You're going to pulse once, switch legs, pulse once on the other side, and switch back. All right, go ahead and keep it going. Pulse and pulse, just nice and slow. So we inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, just alternating those legs back and forth. Again, keeping that lower back flat against that mat. You can either lay completely flat like Kelly's doing, or you can roll your shoulders up like I'm doing, whichever is more comfortable. Here's eight. Right. And we're going to switch to a double pulse, so that same leg, you're going to pulse twice, switch over, pulse twice, switch back. So try to get that leg just a little bit closer on that second pulse each time. Try to keep that leg nice and straight as well. So 
So we exhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, exhale, inhale. All right, last one on each leg. Bring both those legs up. Hold them there for just a second. Nice and slow, drop it down. And again, slowly walk back up those legs. Try to really crunch it up, use those abdominal muscles to pull yourself up as high as you can. Nice and slow back down. We'll do this two more times. Walk back up again. Slowly down. Last one, walk it up. And slowly down. All right, go ahead and let that relax. I'm gonna roll over onto your right side. I'm gonna be using your left leg first. So you can prop yourself up with your hand uh, or you can lay out completely flat, whichever is more comfortable to you, doesn't matter. You're going to bring both legs in a nice straight line from your body. You're going to take that top leg, hover just a little bit, and rotate from your hip to try to bring that knee pointing down towards the ground, that foot pointing down towards the ground. So you have a limited range of motion here, but what you're going to do is nice and slow, lift that leg up as high as is comfortable without rotating that hip open or that knee open. Slowly back down, a little bit of a hover, right back up. So try to keep that toe pulled over, pointing down as much as you can the entire time. So exhale on the way up. Inhale on the way back down. You should be feeling this the outside of that thigh and in that glute really heavily. Six. Our last one. And hover at the bottom, point that toe straight forward. This time that knee you want keeping straight forward. Lift up as high as you can without letting that toe point up towards the ceiling. So nice and slow, lift it up. And back down, a little bit of a hover. Right back up again. The slower you go with this, the more lactic acid burn you're gonna get, but the more toning you're gonna get out of that muscle. So go nice and slow, don't swing that leg. So nice, slow, slow squeeze up. Nice, slow drop back down. Ooh, that burns already. Are <laughs> like number three? <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Just keep it going. So if you need to take a break during these, feel free to let that leg drop. Otherwise, just keep pushing through it. Make that leg burn. What number are you on? I have two more. Two more? Sounds about right to me. One left. And drop it down, keep a hover. You're gonna rotate that leg open so that knee's pointing up towards the ceiling, that toe's pointing up towards the ceiling, and you got 10 more to go. You ready? Yep. All right, start them up. <laughs> toe up towards the ceiling, flex that toe up. Nice and slow down. Try to keep those hips stacked, try to let yourself roll over backwards. Whew, man, that is a serious burn. Just keep it going. Try to keep that leg moving slow. Try to keep that knee locked out straight. That four? Yeah. <laughs> Just keep it going. Go to that happy place. I know it's burning. Just keep going through it. Four more. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Be a special kind of sword tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Got two more? Mm-hmm. Last one. 
nice and slow down and let it relax all the way. Ooh. So bring that knee up in front of you, kind of stretch that glute out just a little bit, let it relax. You're going to go ahead and leave that leg up in front of you, and we're going to focus on that uh, bottom leg now. We're going to do an inside thigh I'm just stretch. Do extensions. That's What's that? That's one oh, question. okay. <laughs> one more. One more. I'm Sorry, I forgot about yet. that one. All right. All right, here we go. So we're pulling it in, squeeze, and this whole time you're hovering, and then slowly extend back out. With all these, make sure you're concentrating on that stomach as well. You're kind of pulling that belly button back in towards your spine. Even though your abs don't necessarily need to contract very much to control this motion, it's always a good idea to kind of train your body to stay nice and tight, especially through those abs. Make sure you're getting a really, really tight squeeze as you bring that heel back too. You can just kind of go through the motion on this one, or you can get a really good burn on that hamstring, the back of that thigh. You should already feel it through the outside and through that glute again. But the tighter you squeeze and you bring that leg back, the more you're going to feel it in that hamstring. Two more. Last one. And let it relax. Right. Thanks for reminding me about that. I would have completely forgotten that. <laughs> You're just wishful thinking. I was trying to ignore it. <laughs> All, All right, right so inside thigh. Bring that uh, knee up in front. You can either cross that leg across and just kind of lean forward on that knee, or you can pull that foot up in front of that hip, whichever is more comfortable and whichever is easier for you, depending on how flexible you are. You're going to focus on that rear leg, that bottom leg, and you're going to slowly bring that leg up off the ground. You're not going to have a ton of range of motion. Squeeze the top. Back down, a little bit of a hover, and then right back up again. It's going to be exhale as you squeeze up, inhale as you bring it back down. Exhale as you squeeze it back up. Keep those lungs open, don't hold your breath. Check those abdominal muscles, make sure you're keeping those Stomach muscles nice and tight, pulling that belly button in towards your spine. Two more. And on this last repetition, don't relax on the bottom. You're going to hover there for just a second, and then we're going to go into pulses. So, same range of motion. Just keeping it right there in the hot zone, pulsing, slow and controlled. Yeah, that's a nice burn. Yeah. All right, and then let it relax. And very good. And we move on to between the other side. Yes. So we're gonna switch around on the other side. Actually. So laying on your right side, or sorry, your left side this time, we're going to be starting with your right leg. So we're going to start that same progression through, either, again, uh, propping your head up with your hand or laying out completely flat, whichever is more comfortable. Toe facing down towards the ground, rolling that leg down as much as you can, keep those hips stacked. You ready? Mm -hmm. All right, let's get this burn going. So nice and slow, lift that heel up. Remember, you're going to have a limited range of motion here, so don't try to go all the way up over nice and high just as high as you can go without letting that foot start to roll out forward or up. Again, check those abdominal muscles, make sure that belly button's pulled in nice and tight. If you need to, actually place a hand on it to remind yourself to pull it in nice and tight. Three more. Last one. Nice and slow down. Keep a little bit of a hover. Toe pointing straight forward. Knee straight forward. You ready? Mm -hmm. 
All right, start them up. Bring that leg up nice and high. Squeeze it up, but don't let that toe turn up towards the ceiling or up towards your head. Back down, a little bit of a hover, then right back up again. Watch that leg the entire time. Try to keep that leg nice and straight. And make sure that toe isn't opening up. Make sure that leg isn't cheating. Ooh, this, is, this one always yeah. burns so bad. Slow it down just a little bit. We're starting to speed up yeah. compared to the <laughs> other side. Just get it over with. Go quicker. <laughs> make sure you're going nice and slow. Your body's going to be telling you to cheat the entire time. So make sure you're constantly trying to work against that little voice in your head telling you to go faster. All right, last one. Back down. Hover it. Turn that toe up towards the ceiling. You ready? Mm -hmm. Start them up straight up. Keep it nice and slow. Try to keep that leg straight. Try to keep those hips tilted forward. Try not to let those hips rock backward and open up. Keep it slow and under control. <laughs> How are you doing there? Yeah, I'm good. Was that it? How many we have? No, left? we have five more. Five more? Jeez! Let's <laughs> hope we're break. done. <laughs> it's okay to take a break. Anytime <laughs> you need to stop and stretch it out, it's just fine. Just get back into it as soon as you can. So that should be number seven. Just two more. Keep it slow. Focus on the, all that form. Make sure the leg's straight. Make sure the toe's up. Make sure your belly button's pulled in nice and tight. Oh my gosh, that birds. It's giving me the giggles. <laughs> and slowly let it down. And let it relax. Pull that knee in front with that glute muscle stretch out. Ooh, man, that burns. Yeah. My leg is dead. <laughs> Lifeless. Okay, don't forget the extension. Okay. So staying right here, sticking the leg out there. Ready? Mm hmm. Okay. So squeeze back. <laughs> and again, remember to focus, do this motion mindfully. You can feel it in the front of your thighs, the backs of your thighs as you bring that foot back, and your glutes and your outer thighs while you're keeping that leg static in that position. Check that breathing as well. Make sure your lungs are open. Anytime you're doing an exercise, especially with Pilates though, you always, always, always want to continue to check your form through everything. There's a lot to think about if you stop and really check yourself. Three more? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Tight, tight squeeze. Keep those lungs open. Last one. Mm -hmm. Tight squeeze. And let it relax. Go and drop that leg down. Pull that leg in front. Either uh, laying that knee on the ground or pulling that foot up in front, whichever is more comfortable. Focusing on that bottom leg, nice and slow, lift it up off the ground, tight, tight, squeeze the top, nice and slow back down, a little bit of a hover, and right back up again. Halfway, keep those lungs open, keep that belly button pulled in nice and tight.
one more. Mm -hmm. Doing pulses. Yep. All right, freeze it up there. Short pulses at the top. Right. Slowly lower that leg back down. All right. That's Good. our first little rest break. Mm -hmm. All right. Take just a second. Let those legs kind of release a little bit. Let the lactic acid kind of flush out of them. We're going to start into the next half of this, which is going to be starting off with hip raises. So uh, we've got uh, double hip raises, so feet on the ground, also called a bridge. Uh, and then we're also going to be doing a single leg version. At least I'm going to be doing a single leg version. If it's too hard for you to do a single leg version, just keep with uh, the double like Kelly's going to be doing. So you ready to get started? Yep. All right, go ahead and lay it on your back. You want to bring those feet in as close as is comfortable. Hands flat down on the mat. As you're doing this, try not to press those hands into that mat too much. You want all that effort coming from just those hips. You ready to go? Yeah. All right, 10 repetitions with both legs first. So nice and slow, press into those heels. Lift those hips up, squeeze them up as high as you can. Try to get an at least flat, higher if you can. Nice and slow back down, a little bit of a hover. And right back up. So inhale as you drop those hips down towards the ground. And exhale as you press them back up. So you should be feeling a good squeeze to those glutes, but you might also be feeling it a little bit in your quadriceps as well, and that's just for stabilization. Those quads are so tired already from everything else we've done, they're probably just feeling it a little bit more. You got three left, is that what you're on? Mm -hmm. All right. If you want to make this one harder, you can always hold on to weights. Put weights, uh, rest them on your hips, it'll make it quite a lot more difficult. Got one more to go. Tight squeeze, hold it, freeze it up there, and nice and slow back down. Let it relax. Okay, well, like I said, if you want the easier version or stay with the easier version, you're just going to keep doing that same exact version we just did. Otherwise, if you want to make it a little bit harder, we're going through this twice more, and I'm going to be doing a single leg. So I'm going to start with my left leg first. Right leg can either come up to a tabletop or a full extension, whichever is more comfortable for you. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. All right. A little bit faster, nice and slow. Press it up. Squeeze that glute. Nice and slow back down. Keep a little bit of a hover underneath those hips. Right back up again. So if you want to make it harder but you're not quite comfortable enough lifting that single leg up there, you can also put your hands up above your head. It makes it a little bit harder on balance and makes your legs work a little bit harder as well as your core. It works the same way for doing a single leg as well. Just the lifting those hands up causes you to have to use a little bit more of your core to stabilize. What number are you on? I think this is halfway. Sounds good to me. <laughs> Ooh, that burns. Yeah. Two more. Mm -hmm. Last one, tight squeeze, freeze it, hold it up there nice and high, slowly let it down, and let it relax. Oh my gosh, that burns. <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> Alright. You ready for the next round? You ready for the next day? Yep. Ready. Get it done. <laughs> Worse than thinking about it, just do it. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh-huh. Start them up. Press it up. Exhale. 
Inhale, slowly back down. Check that belly button, make sure you're pulling it in nice and tight, keeping those abs tight. They're not gonna have to work really hard for this uh, exercise, but you wanna always, like I said before, always keep them nice and tight. What number are you on? Uh, this next one will be number five. Okay. And one behind you. Three more. Hey. All right, last one. Freeze it. Uh. Hold it up there nice and high. And slowly let it down. Oh my gosh. Yeah. How goes knees into your chest? Let it relax for just a second. We're going to roll over onto your hands and knees for this next one. All right. You ready? Last round. That's right. You want to walk us through it? Sure. What do we need? We're starting with a straight leg. So mm -hmm. we're coming down. You can do it here or here for more range of motion. But you're going to have your weight and your forearms and one knee, and you're kicking one leg out straight. And we're going to be doing a nice, slow, controlled lift. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> now those glutes are already nice and tired. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the thing about Pilates. Like any of these exercises by themselves are not that bad, but once you put them into a, like a smart progression, mm -hmm. oh my gosh! By the time you're done, Just... <laughs> yeah. Only real men do Pilates. <laughs> <laughs> I think they don't like it because it's too hard. Yeah, I know. It's, it's challenging in a weird way. Mm-hmm. You know? You know, I used to, I used to teach group Pilates classes, uh, for those of you who didn't already know that. And, uh, yeah, I would have guys come up to me after class and say it was really great, but it was too hard. I probably won't be coming back. <laughs> oh, <that's laughs> I get two more? Yeah. Alright, so now we're going to be keeping the same motion, but you're going to bend at the knee. So try to keep roughly 90 degree. You're going to take your leg up and slowly lower back down. Get a little extra tuck under there, get those abs into it a little bit more if you want. Just keep those lungs open, pull that belly button in nice and tight. If you're feeling your uh, left glute getting really, really tired, put more weight onto your right elbow and that should take care of it. it just means you're pushing a little bit too much weight back in that rear leg. Alright, three more. All right, this is our last repetition, but we're going to keep our leg up there and pulse for 10 pulses. Here we go. Yes. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Sit back in those heels. Let Ooh. those glutes stretch for just a second. Whew, that's only one side. Now we get to do the other side, right? But that's it. Once we're done with this yes. next leg, we are finished. This is, this is the last so, round of exercises. You can do this. All right, you ready? Mm -hmm. All right. All right, going back to that straight leg raise. Take a deep breath and start it up. Exhale as you lift that leg. Inhale, you bring it back down.
Keep those lungs open, never hold your breath. Keep that belly button pulled in nice and tight. Make sure everything through that leg is contracted. You want that quadricep and hamstring contracted against each other. Keep that leg perfectly straight. Make sure as you lift that leg up, you get a tight, tight, tight squeeze on that glute every single time. So pull it up as hard as you possibly can to really make that glute work. Just halfway. Remember again, if you're feeling it on that uh, the hip of the knee you're kneeling on, then lean a little bit more into that opposite elbow, and that'll take a little bit of that pressure off that hip. I'm just going, <laughs> like zoning out, going out happy place, <laughs> trying to get it done. All right, here's the last one. So again, we're going to switch to the version with the bent knee. So on this last one, go ahead and tuck it in and come back out. Tight, tight squeeze again. Inhale, bring that knee down. Exhale, pressing it right back up, tight squeeze. Inhale back down again. You know where we're at? Two more. Oh, good. All right, now on this 10th rep, we're going to do those pulses. So keep your leg up there. Start it up. And let it relax Ooh. nice and slow. Ah. Sit back in those heels. <laughs> And let it relax. All right, all we have left is our cool downs. We'll be right back to finish that off. See you in just a second. Okay, everybody, we still have our cool down to go through. We're not quite done yet, so let's go ahead and get that started. We're going to be starting off with a single leg seated uh, hamstring stretch. So we tuck one leg in nice and close, other leg's kicked out straight. Stretch down with one foot, or sorry, one hand to that same foot, and then bring that other hand over top to stretch out that torso. So just lean down there, take a nice big deep breath in, contract everything, and then exhale as you let it try to sink in a little bit deeper. And just try to hold that stretch you just need a little tiny bit of a stretch. You don't need to go really, really uh, intense into it. You just want a little bit of a stretch and hold it for a nice long time so that way those muscles completely release. Just keep those lungs open, breathe normally. All right, you ready for the other side? Oh no, you're gonna tuck that. Come down first to this toe. <clears throat> so this time you're leaning so your chest is facing down your leg. And you should feel this one through the back of that thigh that you have kicked out. Also through your lower back and torso on the side you're stretching. You don't need to actually reach down and grab your toe. You can just reach down as far as is comfortable. So just focus on trying to keep that leg relatively straight, as straight as you can. If there's a little bit of a bend in it, that's no big deal. As long as you're feeling, still feeling that stretch, that hamstring. But you always want to try to shoot for getting that leg nice and straight. And now slowly come back up. Now you're going to stretch the front of your thigh. So bring your leg back and grab your foot with just this hand if you don't have the uh, flexibility to rotate. Otherwise, you can grab with that other hand as well and you get a good chest stretch. But pull until you feel a stretch through the front of your thigh here. <clears throat> All right, ready to 
do the same thing on this side. Mm -hmm. All right, let's switch over. Opposite leg out. One hand first. Other hand. Other. Other hand over top. <laughs> Keep those lungs open. <clears throat> no matter what, no matter if you're stretching or if you're exercising, you never want to try to hold your breath. I wonder how many times I said that in the video, probably. <laughs> Thousands. <laughs> Alright, now turn to face that leg and try to lean down into it. And even if you only, if you're not very flexible, that's totally fine. Just do what you can. Just don't push until the point where it hurts, just until you feel a little bit of tension in that muscle. It should feel good. Now come back up, hold this leg around, grab it behind your back, get a good stretch through the front of that thigh. Butterfly stretch next. Mm -hmm. So, feet together nice and close. Pull them in as close to your groin as you can, and then use the muscles to the outside of your thigh to actually pull those knees down towards the ground. Keep that back straight, straight up and down. Just let it, let everything relax through your torso as much as possible. Nice big full deep breaths in each time. Just don't hold that breath. Really concentrate on trying to pull those knees down towards the ground. This might be one of the only stretches I can do that I'm more flexible than you. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Woohoo! One! Woo! <laughs> one. <laughs> Maybe another one. <clears throat> Alright, we're doing a hip stretch next, so push those feet out just a little bit wider. You're going to keep that back nice and flat again and lean straight forward. You should feel it down inside that hip socket. Just keep those lungs open again, breathing normally. And go ahead and sit back up nice and slow. You can kick one foot out straight in front of you. Other foot is going to be over top of that knee. Keep that knee bent and rotate towards that knee. Get a good torso stretch. You can use that uh, knee or that elbow to push against that knee to get an extra stretch, or you can use your muscles to pull through that stretch as well. Just try to relax, keep those lungs open, keeping a constant amount of tension on that stretch. So as those muscles start to loosen up a little bit on you, push a little bit more into that stretch. Let's switch sides. Try to keep that back nice and flat. Try not to let yourself round those shoulders forward. You want to keep a nice straight spine, just twisting around those shoulders. We're going to lay on our back for a deep glute stretch. One leg cross over top, grab behind the thigh of that other leg, pull it in nice and close. Just try to let everything else relax. You should be feeling it in the glute of the leg you have crossed over top. And after all the stuff we did in this routine, you definitely don't want to do this stretch. <laughs> Go 
and switch sides. Again, grabbing behind that thigh, not behind that, or in front of that knee. You don't want to compress that knee. And go to a cobra stretch next and roll over onto your stomach. Hands by the base of your rib cage, press into the palm of that hand, arch that back up as high as is comfortable. that relax down nice and slow and go back to a child's pose sit back in those heels hands out in front stretch them out away from you and let that back release Draw those hands in towards those knees. Press it in the palm of that hand again and arch that back up nice and high. Really stretch it, round it out. Tuck that chin into your chest. And let it relax. All right, feel free to do some more stretching on your own if you like, but for us, this workout is complete. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. Good job.